Gallifrey Forever 97 here. Welcome to today's video. We're going to be going through the newly revealed Doctor Who Series 11 logo for Jodie Whittaker's first series as the Doctor. Um, I was not expecting this whatsoever. There were rumours on Twitter, but it's one of those things where, oh, maybe, maybe not. I'm going to be going through uh, the new logo, uh, as well as the other stuff around uh, the reveal. So the logo was revealed at the BBC Showcase, which is an annual event for the BBC each year, where they show off uh, programmes that are there or um, going to be made, and they just basically trying to sell it to uh, broadcasters abroad. And there were two shows uh, for Doctor Who on this day. One was a more of a, a public thing, and the other was a very private dinner. Even though people weren't allowed to take photos, it quite clearly said on the screen, please don't take photos, uh, they did. However, Jodie Whittaker's 13th Doctor uh, did intervene. As you know, with all your phones out, everything <laughs> to do with this show is a secret. <laughs> so if you could put your phone... Put it down, don't be on your phone. For the public cover, um, we had a 15-second video. Um, it's just sort of a CGI thing revealing the Dot2 logo in this really cool, vibrant, energetic uh, new graphics. I don't know if there's the graphics for the titles. I don't know if that's the theme tune they're going to use for the series, um, but I really liked it. It was a very classical feel, very eerie at the same time. And there's also some new artwork that was released for the uh, programme. Uh, it's sort of like the same style we've got with Jake Worker's Doctor on a cliff, but it was uh, more of a sort of like graphical piece um, and she's a sort of silhouette shadow and the tiles is more in the distance and it's sort of like the start of a dawn, that's where I saw it, but I, I think it's a really nice thing. I'm sure many people are using it for their phone wallpapers um, and obviously you get the reveal of the Doctor logo with that as well. So what are my thoughts on it? Uh, well, I was really sort of taken aback by it when I first saw it. I think initially you think it's one of those things that are like fan made. And I like, got that sort of fan made feel, not in a bad way of like, oh my god, it's like that bad, but one of those things, it's like too good to be true. One of those things, you're like, oh, I'm really good if they use that in the show. I get vibes of the 2005 Dot 2 logo. Um, I'd probably, actually, no, I'd probably say the 2007 one because um, obviously we had, with 2005, we had the sort of like, it was more silver. And then I think in 2007 Series 3, they sort of brightened it up, made it more yellow and orangey and sort of on fire. And this is the feel you get from this. The logo was created by a creative agency called Little Hawk um, and they work closely with showrunner Chris Chibnall and executive producer Matthew Strivens. And they've also released a picture of uh, the Dot2 logo just sort of saying who in a circle um, and obviously they got the sort of line for it which obviously many people suggested it's the sort of feminine symbol, which a load of articles have been like, oh my god, there's a secret message. But we live in a world of sort of clickbait, so I don't click on those articles. But yeah, I think it's bold, it's energetic, uh, and I think it just goes really well with this new era um, of Doctor Who. It just feels all brand new and sort of, oh, shiny. Really, really exciting. Um, I think they've done a great job, the logo. It's simplistic, but creative at the same time. I'm not sure how it ranks with other Doctor Who logos we've had. Um, I'd say it'd probably take me a while when it's been around for like a few years to a sort of like that be like the true test of time. We've done a great job creating this new simplistic logo uh, for Jodie Whittaker's uh, era as the Doctor. And if you get many more variations of it in the near future. So as always guys and girls, thank you very much for watching. Please comment, like and subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter, like the Gallifrey for now, on Facebook page, Instagram, Google Plus, links to that stuff in the description below. What do you think of the new Doctor Who logo? Um, do you like it? Do you hate it? Are you sort of thinking, eh, it's okay. Any of your thoughts, let me know in the comment section below you can buy this t-shirt now on forbidden planet you can give it go in store online i think there is a limited uh, stock of them so do get them quick i'm going to hopefully buy mine uh, in the next few days it's a quite good time to announce actually that um you'll be seeing a sort of change to the artistic style of the channel soon as well um, i'm going to be getting some new titles some new logos uh, but more about that in the uh, upcoming weeks keep your eyes peeled for that um and hopefully you'll see like a new brand new look for the channel going forward into 2018. My next video is going to be the Doctor Who Second Doctor Era Ultimate trailer voted for by you. We've only got four Doctors left after this, um, so he's literally narrowing it down. Um, so obviously you've got the first Doctor, the fifth, 10th and 11th to go and then we're all done and I'll be doing some uh, interesting trailers after that. But yeah, so the next video will be focusing on the second Doctor. Get your flutes at the ready. So as always guys and girls, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Boy, boy.